Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews on How To, and on today's video, short and simple, we're just going to show you how to remove Cortana from your Windows 10 or Windows 11 PC. Keep watching to find out how. Okay, so it's now July 2023 and Cortana is actually coming to the end of life. Now, some of you may like to use it, some of you may not. Essentially, it's going to be one of those things on your system, which is a little bit of a resource hog and also does kind of track things you're doing, which is uh, not always the best idea. So today we're going to show you how to easily get rid of it. There's two options. Depending on the version of Windows you've currently got installed, you may find one easier than the other. But let's head over to the computer and we'll see how it's done. So this is our Windows 11 desktop. Now, probably the easiest one if your PC is new enough. Go right click onto your Windows start flag here. Choose installed apps. And if you just go into search apps, type in Cortana. And you may find that you're lucky. And if you click on the options here, you should have an option for uninstall. Now this is something which is gonna be added into Windows in the coming months or weeks. So potentially you can do it from there if you wanna get rid of it. If that doesn't exist, another way of doing it is to right click and choose terminal with admin rights. You'll come up with the user account control, just click on yes, and just type in a simple command. So type in winget, then a space, uninstall, and Cortana, and press enter. If this is the first time that you've used winget, you may come up with this um, to agree to the terms. Just click yes or Y, and press enter. And there you go, it's finding the package and it's getting rid of, rid of it. There you go, it's all gone, 100% completely uninstalled. When you're done, just type in exit and it takes you back to your Windows desktop. So there you go, pretty straightforward, pretty simple to do, very quick fix. So if you don't like having Cortana on your PC, this is a way of doing it. Like I said, you may find that with coming Windows versions and updates, you may have the option to just uninstall it from the main apps menu. Either way, good way of getting rid of it. So there you go, that is how to get rid of Cortana on your Windows PC. I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.